That's better. Less distraction. much easier when I was doing a big screen. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna skip it. Bear with us people. Technology. <laughs> I'm here just walking around. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> I wanna what? Did he say we're live? <laughs> Did that. Oh, while I'm doing that, while you're doing that, I'll be right there. Ooh, boy. Uh oh, my dad called. I called that. Okay, I'm glad Okay, guys, so y'all are going to have to. We'll have to bear with us because I can only see one screen at a time. So with me only being able to see one screen at a time, that means we're not going to be able to answer too many questions. But this is go time anyway. So I see all three screens. Yeah, I'm talking about the YouTube chat chat talking about the chat okay all right cool we're here so i got the camera down here for you guys so you can see that and then i got one up here so looks like the screen is one of my screens oh no we're good. that was just me standing still that's the time left okay so oh i can do this though can i do this yeah i brought my i brought my mouse let me wake her back up there we go. Yeah. I'm going to watch the chat and I'll set my camera up over here, my phone rather. Okay, so you can watch the chat. Over here. Make sure it's out of range. So. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, hello, I think hello. I. Hello. Happy Sunday, everyone, Who, whoever's been in here watching us fumble around. <laughs> Fumble around and get this together. I hope you guys got your stuff sanitized. And Miss Craft, this is the video where they're going to enter the contest, right? Yes. Okay. So if you want to enter the contest for the wine tasting, this is the video where you're going to have to leave the comment. Miss Craft will get more into that when we get closer to that time. Yes. Yeah. So all your tools should be sanitized. If your tools aren't sanitized, um, that's okay. You can maybe start doing it now. Go over to Miss Craft's channel. I made a community post about it earlier. Um, and she tells you how to prep everything to get all your tools ready to go. So, yeah. boom. Mm -hmm. good to go. Uh, yep. Guava? Yeah. Guava. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what are we sipping on this afternoon? What's that? Which wine are we sipping on this afternoon? Oh, I got um, my wife. She really likes this Duplin wine, Black River Red. Oh. Uh, nothing too fancy. Yeah. It's simple. It's chill. Probably pretty close to an end result we're looking to get with my yeah. goodies over here. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I do like to drink wine, why I make wine, because it kind of gives you an idea of where your palate needs to be. So yeah. I Testing and tasting, you can, you know, get into the acidic or the sweetness and up. Yeah. Sorry, weeds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right. That's that's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of one of my rules of thumb. Um, when you are making a wine, especially when you get to the point of ready to test it, mm -hmm. have your favorite bottle of wine with you so you can kind of compare. Yeah, I, my favorite bottle of wine, I'm going to need a wine 
master, what is it called? Wine Master. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's Amarone by uh, Tomasi, by the Tomasi Vineyard family. Okay. That's my favorite bottle of wine right there. Ooh. Um, my, yeah, my favorite bottle of wine is a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> or a carboy, right? <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, as you kind of get into it, you'll, you'll be ready to expand out and taste different things, different flavors, not just kind of relying on what you normally buy. Not just start getting into the art of it. Right. Okay, so whenever you are ready, we can get this show on the road. I'm ready. I'm sterilized unless there's something I'm going to need that's not here, but I got the wife on standby. Okay. Hey, <laughs> wifey. <might be. laughs> <laughs> She's going to stand by okay. and run things back and forth. Yeah. Now, like I said, I'm doing a red and a white. So anybody that's doing a white can follow in this bucket. Anybody that's doing a red. I'm doing two reds. Oh, what, yeah. juice, what juices are you going to use? So I wasn't going to tell you because I wanted to be a surprise. Okay. <laughs> but you already unveiled yours, so I'll unveil mine. So I'm okay. doing, uh, uh, was this a black cherry juice? Ooh. With, uh, no, this is just one that's going to be all black berry juice. Black berry juice. Okay. And then the other one's going to be one part pomegranate juice, the other part cranberry juice. Ah, um, a nice tart one. We'll that's see We'll good. see how this turns out. Um, I figured I'd play with something. I'll do one real simple, just all black cherry juice. And then the other one, I figured I'd get fancy. I can't help but experiment, people. It's in my nature. Oh, wow. so, but like Ms. Crab said in the hydrometer video, uh, what is it? We're going to learn the why before we tweak the how, right? That's our motto, mantra moving I'm forward. Not. Yeah, you've so, already such a good student. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <In> my homework. <laughs> okay, so the uh, first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> remember in the video, matter of fact, I have my sanitation bucket, bucket right here with me. We're going to grab um, your little glass or bowl. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is proof I our yeast. Now, I just pulled my stuff out of, the, uh, out of the bucket, people, just in case yeah. you're wondering. It's perfect. Oh, you didn't sanitize that. Yes, I did. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, let me move this out the way so you can see what we're doing. We're going right. to proof our, our, our yeast. And basically, all that is doing is making sure our yeast is alive. <laughs> Now, some people, you know, there's different schools of thought. They were like, just dump the yeast in there and you're good. Um, and it's true. Um, there are other people like, you must proof every time. <laughs> um, I'm kind of the school of thought. If I just bought the packet of yeast, okay. it's probably good. If I had it sitting around for a while, I may want to test it. Okay. So this is how you test it. So we're going to take a little bit of the juice of... of the one we're going to make. Okay. Probably um, half a cup, not, not even, probably quarter cup. Quarter cup, okay. Yeah. That one. Like about a quarter cup. This one. What you think, that's enough? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You don't need much. That's what, we don't need much people, there you go. Yeah. Look, we high speed over here. We got three cameras running. We <laughs> <laughs> was going to do four, but we didn't want it to get too confusing for you guys. Exactly. So. <laughs> so I have two different glasses so I can keep track of which yeast is which, <laughs> which, which is which. Um, you're basically going to open your packet of yeast and dump it in. The whole thing? About half. Half, about half? Okay. About half. Okay, yeah, these need scissors. <laughs> I use my uh, my handy dandy teeth. Uh, what did I do with my scissors? Hold on. Okay. Big pause. Wait a minute. <laughs> scissors. Yay. Stop. Don't 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 jump ahead, people. Follow along. Don't jump ahead. I was ahead. my tomatoes and cucumbers earlier, so that's why they were in the closet. Uh, okay, okay, so grab the packet. <laughs> And you can stir it with your finger or a spoon, it doesn't matter. Um, 
Another way to proof this, if you didn't want to waste your juice, well, you're not really wasting your juice, but if you didn't want to use your juice, it's a better way to say it. Um, it's just to take a little bit of water and a little bit of sugar and your yeast will proof that way as well. Because there's natural sugars already in the juice, the yeast will get ready to go. There we go. All right, so what this is going to do is rehydrate the yeast <clears throat> and wake them up. Should I mix this together while it's in here right now? Yep, kind of lightly. You're going to see it start to bubble and get happy. All right, let me try and do this to make it really easy like that. And just set it to one side. Let them, let them go to work. So. And what, again, what it's going to do is going to um, rehydrate and start to bubble and go to work. That's how you know your yeast is alive. Okay. Um, if it just kind of sits there, um, you know it's dead and you're going to have to get another packet. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got that to one side. Step one. Right. Now we got our buckets and we're going to dump our juice in the buckets. Okay. Pour them straight in. Pour them straight in. easy this is you're going to be like what <laughs> make sure your juice that you grabbed so i want to let you guys know i had a huge major disappointment i picked up some muscadine juice because i wanted to be fancy of course and when i stopped and i read the back of the label they had it, it was the last thing that was on the label it said guess what sulfites so <laughs> As we know, Man. We can't that was a major disappointment. I don't know. We're going to be mixing muscadine juice with something. And we got to pick up some vodka. Yeah. Make jelly. I see who's in the room. I see a couple of people. A couple of people in the room. Hey, how y'all doing? Don't be shy. Everybody doing this evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Don't be shy. Why don't y'all go ahead and, uh, if you're a gardener, rep your zone. If you're a uh, if you're a lawn care enthusiast, tell me what zone you're in. I know those are two different things, two different worlds. You see us with our rep our zones on. Rep our zone. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a little bit lower than you, huh? On the scale. Just a little bit lower, yeah. Just a little lower. Yeah. Somebody That's was extra weak. Um, you know Tony and Dolores? Uh-uh. Tony and Dolores channel, Farmer Jones and uh, Country Thick is what he calls it. Um, they, they are following along, well not Farmer Jones, he's not following along because he doesn't drink, he doesn't partake. <laughs> Dolores, she's following along and she said, what, uh, what, where is she at? And I said, you know what, I, I don't remember. <laughs> so, so now you have your shirt on, so there you go. I'm in Tennessee, baby, representing Memphis all day, every day. <laughs> and the key, that's what, uh, what did he say? What was his name? Oh, my gosh, Young Buck. <laughs> Young Buck. Okay, I need a, I need, you know what? I'm going to use a sticker. Luckily, I got a sticker right here. So I can remember which one was which, because I didn't write on these buckets. I got me a, a Turfman sticker. Huh? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I mean, I know we have this video for posterity, but usually what you would do is also put the date on when you started. Okay, yes, cool. All right, so now I know this is my magic bowl, and that one is, okay, so I'm poured up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think, see, yeah, it's starting to bubble a little bit. That was looking pretty yeah, good. mine is, uh, I got some bubble uh, on the top. Let me Good. see if I can. Yeah. Can y'all see that? Yeah. See. Looks good. Probably not. But he is doing stuff. Yes. That's what Activity, you mean. activity is definitely happening. Starting to be effervescent. <laughs> okay, but next thing. I'll bring it closer because that's why I put it on the tripod so I can do this exactly. Mm -hmm. um, maybe y'all can get a good shot of that. Yeah. White film. On the top, that's how you know it's activated, right there. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I'll get that out of the way. 
Okay. Um, now, um, next step would be adding your sugar to the juice. Um, you can get as precise as you want or eyeball if you want. It's up to you. I know for a fact that um, this is six pounds of sugar and I got two buckets. So I'm going to do like a third and a third. <laughs> third and a third. I got the same kind of sugar, I believe. How about that? Looks good. Yep. <laughs> A third and a third. Yeah, you don't have to be real precise on this because, again, all of this is going to be eaten up by the yeast. Um, but be mindful that you don't want to over sweeten either. If you remember on my um, one topic about, you know, how the art of making, I'm sorry, I'm thinking and talking at the same time. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, when you're dealing with yeast, there's a temperature range and a sweetness range and uh, as far as what alcohol it, uh, it takes. When you're actually doing your hydrometer, you're going to want to do it a little bit under first and sweeten as you go. So yeah, when you're making alcohol, um, wine or beer, it's about a pound of sugar to a gallon of liquid or fluid or juice or whatever you want to call it that will yield you about 6% alcohol. Okay, that's about the rule of thumb, which is why we're starting with that, which is why we're starting with two pounds. Right. So we can aim for 12%. Make sense? Easy math. Okay. So I feel pretty confident. I'll pour it all. I'll third one, put a little bit more in here. Okay. I'm going back and forth a little bit. So should I start mixing it now? Yes. You we're going to mix it until it's completely dissolved. Oh, no, he did. No, he is not two fists in it. <laughs> Wait a there we go. Like, now, what one trick that some people will do, they will actually warm up their juice to help the sugar dissolve. Um, I didn't want to um, waste anybody's time with that. And what I mean by that is that you have to actually wait for the juice to cool down again before you can pitch your yeast into it. So, and it doesn't take long for sugar to dissolve. So just until uh, you don't hear any more grains. When we get done mixing this up, where should I place these spoons? You can put it right back in your, high, um, your sanitation bowl. Okay. I got a message. You don't know how to make Kool Aid. Why, mister? <laughs> okay. So, do we have any comments or any questions up to this point? Everybody just saying hi. How you doing? What we got going on on the chat? Well, let, me, let me slide over. See what we got going. Oh, there's plenty of people in there now. Linda Dream, Zone Seven A, Love Notes Eight A, Deborah White. How you doing? Nature Nine and family. Hey, Nature Nine. F R Humphrey, Eight A, Alabama. A F R. G G. Hello, Seven B, Alabama. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. sounds like gold over here. Like the whole gang is here. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Thanks for, thanks for checking in. Appreciate okay, y'all. Almost done. So watching. Wait. I'm feeling pretty involved over here. There might be a few crystals at the bottom, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do us a favor so we can actually catch your questions. Um, Type the word question in capitals and then ask your question right after. This way we can catch it. Yeah, that way we make sure we know that you're asking the question. Right. We're really putting our uh, eyes to the test right now. <laughs> okay. I think, um, good. Oh, I didn't say all what juice. I think I said it in my other video, but just in case anybody didn't watch it, I'm making a white grape on this bucket and I'm making a cherry in this bucket. In this bucket, I have a blackberry cherry. 
And then in this bucket over here, I have an experiment. It's pomegranate juice and cranberry juice. Might come out incredibly terrible, or it might be the best thing since sliced bread. We'll see. Actually, I think you have a very good combination for a nice dry What's in the house? What's going on, brother? You said you think I got a very good combination? Yeah, yeah. Pomegranate is going to give it the nice sweetness, and the cranberry is going to give it the tart. It's going to be nice. It's going to be very okay. nice. All right, cool. Hey, let Farmer made it into the house. What up, Led? How you doing? You see what we're doing, right? I think I'm, I'm dissolved over here. All right, guys. So if you're at this point, because I was double, I was double fisting it over here. <laughs> so I was being fancy. So if you got to that point, make sure you put your mixing utensil back into your uh, sanitized okay. bucket that you have over to the side. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So here comes the part that I told you is really important to me. <laughs> We're getting ready to measure this and see how much alcohol this could potentially make us. This is the fun part. So we're going to get our um, testing beaker out. Get all the water out. Am and I missing a piece to this? You can use that if you want to. I don't know how well it would work well because these are shallow buckets. Okay. Try it. You never know. <laughs> all right. Well, can you grab me the turkey baster just in case, please? If I go ahead and drop it in this bucket. I know it's clean. So you're going to um, put in a full um, measure up to the top. Because what we need to do is have enough liquid in the tube so the hydrometer will float. Okay. Now, I want you to get into the habit. If you are using the turkey baster, I want you to get into the habit I'm squeezing the bulb out first. That, that's all the air out. Put it in the bucket, then release. Well, the, the turkey Don't baster blow bubbles in your, in your wine. Turkey baster is not sanitized yet. I just dropped it in the water. I'm going to try to do it with uh, this. So we'll see. Okay. So just measure one at a time. Yeah, you said? Yep, one at a time. And I just broke my own rule. <laughs> what did you do? I feel like I'm missing a piece to this. I do air. That's okay. We're still in the beginning stages, so you can be a little less cautious. Oh, okay, that's how it works. That makes sense. That's actually pretty cool. That's cool, isn't it? I just wasn't sure if it was going to uh, fit in the depth of your bucket, but it looks like it's doing all right. Yeah, it's working. It's just, you know, I might make a few trips. Yeah, I got my um, small, my small one. So yeah, I have to do a few trips myself. If you tilt it, guys, you can squeeze a little extra in there. So. Okay, and I'm about right. And I'm going to throw this back into my sanitation water. Okay, and let me know when you're ready. I'm not gonna set this to the side. Can really focus. Making a mess now. Oh. Do I, should I pour it out the top? Cause it's not coming out anymore. <laughs> oh you, yeah, right at that tip. Yeah, go ahead and put it in your bucket, fill it up, and use the tip at the very top of the tube, and that'll fill it up. There's no tip up here, though. No, 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 no. You're doing it right. You oh, got okay. it. Yeah. So put it in there. Right. And at the tip of the thief, put it to the top of the tube and touch it, and it'll let the, the fluid out. Oh, That's look, my wife over here trying to get me. You were refilling it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this ain't coming out. OK. Right. You got it now. You got it. I'm in there now, guys. Look, I told you I wasn't going ahead. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I was really having a moment just now, too. I was like, I can tell. I was like oh, it'll be okay, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I got this cute Sunday. <laughs> And 
And do not worry because we're at the very beginning of the process, this will not go to waste. We're, we're actually gonna put it back in the bucket because um, we don't have any yeast or anything like that. And all of our tools are sanitized, <laughs> so we're good. Can't stress that enough. Now, let me, let, me, let me back up a little bit. I don't want anybody to get OCD about sanitation. Don't do that. I want you to take the same level of care as you would if you were cooking, okay? Um, you, you, don't, you want your dishes and your utensils and your pots and pans clean, okay, before you cook, right? Same thing here. Right, right, right. You almost filled up. Looking good, looking good. There we go. <clears throat> and that's it. All right. Good deal. So put leave this here or put it in the put that back in the bucket. In the um wash bucket. <laughs> to test your knowledge. <laughs> See how well you learn from the other video. Um, what you do, you're going to drop this in through the middle of the tube. You're going to spin it as you put it down so it doesn't stick to the side, OK? And just okay. drop it in. Ready? Right. Good. And it's going to bounce, and it's going to swing, and it's going to swirl. It's going to do its thing. And what you're looking at is either Matter of fact, we're going to look at both. We're going to look at the um, specific gravity, <laughs> and we're going to look at the ABV. So, unfortunately, I need my glasses because it's dark in here. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to have to take my phone back because I can't find my um, glasses. Hold on. I'm going to drop out of this right here for a minute. I need lights. Okay, <clears throat> right now I am reading at about... Which one are we reading first? Uh, the, the specific gravity. Specific gravity. Yeah, so I'm reading at about... Really sweet, I'm looking about... What is that number? Um, 1110 which is just shy of 14%. So yeah, my sugar's sweet. <laughs> okay. What are you putting on yours? I'm at the, what is this, one? Eleven zero zero, is that right? That's about. I see eleven zero zero. I think that's about thirteen percent, which is good. Yep, that's a good place to be. Mine's a little sweeter, and what I can do, um, if I wanted to bring the uh, alcohol level down, yeah, I can add either add more juice or add water, but. I'm liking where this is sitting right now for me personally. So basically all this is saying that if the yeast went in and did their job and ate up every ounce of sugar in here, I should get about 14% out of this red here. Okay. And mine is in this section of a, it's like right at the top of the sweet wine. Let me see if I can bring y'all in closer. That's, yeah, that's gonna be about 13%. But let's see if I can bring it in closer. Yeah, and after he shows you, Robert, when you're done, you can actually go ahead in and um, dump the juice back into the bucket and go for your other one. I'm trying. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write. You're not going to be able to see it. Go watch the video. <laughs> And what did I do with my piece of paper? So I need to put down 11 zero zero. Okay. 
you're going to want to write that number down. You can actually put it on the label that you put on your um, that you put on your bucket. And I'll just grab a piece of paper towels right now. Oh, I do have paper. I know where I put it in. Okay. Sorry. This is what happens when you go live. You don't have your props and stuff ready. <laughs> so for me, my cherry was at 11, 10 starting. And that's your OG. Yep. Which is gonna be about 14%. Okay, you said I could pour this right back in? Yes, pour it right back in. And what do I wanna do with my uh, hydrometer? You're gonna to wanna to rinse it off because we're gonna measure the second bucket. So put it in, in the wash bucket? Yep. <clears throat> There. Pour this back into the bucket, right? Yep. We're good. And then I'm going to want to rinse this off again, correct? Yes. And then we're going to do it all over again with our second line. And I'm sorry, guys, I had to um, use my phone for my light, so I, don't, I can't see the comments anymore, but Keep them coming. <laughs> we'll catch up. <laughs> Good there. Okay. Cool. So let me get my wine thief back out. Reset. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is where you get to become a mad scientist once you actually learn what you're doing. Yeah. I really need to invest in a bigger um, turkey baster. <laughs> Um, the turkey baster probably would have been faster. Yeah, see, that one's perfect for a five-gallon bucket because it'll go all the way down through the five-gallon, like the, the my big Bama Jam over here that I use as a sanitation bucket as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is... Um, I can really cool, God, don't worry. I don't... Um, you only seeing me prepare two right now, but uh, y'all saw that big old bag of potassium sorbate I got, so. Uh, <laughs> You'll be making lots yeah. of <laughs> Don't feel bad, I got lots of yeast that I have to go through too. So. <laughs> lots of yeast, and um, I'm pretty sure I figured out how to get the, uh, how to do my own homemade gasket too. Like, uh -huh. uh, yeah. So. Yeah. What surprised me if you have a so, homeroom dedicated to wine making? We, we got a question from, from Love yes. Notes. Do yes. we do we and do we rinse the sanitized liquid from the instruments before placing in the mixture? No. 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 Oh, hold on. Let me let me let me say this. If you are using something like Star Sand, the answer is no because it is a uh, no rinse um, sanitizer. If you are using something like hot water and bleach, the answer is yes, because you're gonna to have to get that bleach off of your instrument first. So um, in, in my other video, I said, if you do that, you're gonna to have to, you, you need two buckets. You need one with your bleach water in it and another one with just plain clear water that you can rinse it off in. And you have to rinse it to the point where you don't smell the bleach anymore. Okay, hope that answers your question. Yeah, the video that I shared today on my community post about three or four hours ago before we went live, that is the prep video. So you have two videos. If you haven't watched them and you're planning on making wine, you need to go to the first video, which after, you know, we talked about wine, the first video is how to read the hydrometer, but you might want to read it more, um, watch that more than once, because even now I'm a little shaky. And, <laughs> um, and then you're going to want to watch the prep video. Okay, Fly, you got to go see yeah, listen gotta go gotta go <laughs> zapper right here this y'all see my zapper I, I would touch it but that's that's kind of nasty 
So, uh, but well, yeah, he knows what's up. He knows what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the next, yeah. the, other than the zapper, the next best thing to use to catch your flies is alcohol, <laughs> alcohol or vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> they go mad for that stuff. I was drinking a glass of wine one night and I was so mad. I stepped away from it and came back and a gnat was just back. Backstroke it in. I was so mad. <laughs> yeah, how you doing from North? I was so mad. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So now that you got your uh, measurement, we're going to go ahead and get a hydrometer again. <clears throat> so what you guys couldn't see, I'm going I'm to show you real quick. Yeah, it's really hard to read. Okay. Yep, boom. All right, y'all. So this is what we're reading right here. I hope that you can see right on the hydrometer, but this is what it looks like. We're reading this, this section over here, and then when you spin it, you can see what your proof is going to be on the other side. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. And for wine making, uh, Robert, if you can show it up real close again, for wine making, the bottom red portion, if you fall, if you're, um, uh, density falls in there, you're going to be making a um, lower alcohol table type of wine. And at the bottom, if you fall in that blue section, you're going to be making more of a sweeter dessert type of wine with a higher alcohol proof. So right. like was, ports and things like that would be kind of that in where your easy drinking wine would be in the red. If you're smack dab in the middle, that's a thing of beauty. <laughs> so yeah, you nailed it pretty good. <laughs> All right, ready to go for number two. Okay, just drop and spin. Let it bob and weave, weave and bob. Oh, so he's sweet over here. Oh, my sugar must be really sweet because I'm in the dessert again. Okay, I think I'm going to be yeah, about I'm in, 50%. Uh, yeah, this one's real sweet. So I'm all the way at 11, what is this, 1130? Yeah. And sorry, now I need my light. So here's the problem now. So I don't have any more um, <laughs> juice to dilute this with in my stuff. If you really want to bring it down, Robert, you can use water at this point. Should I want to bring this down? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> so that one, that 130, guys, I mean, the 1130, yeah, that's what it's at, right? 1130 is putting me. Got it. Like so about there. Almost. What's that like? 17 percent. Yeah, and I'm at eleven twenty, so I'm about. Yeah, I'm at eleven thirty. percent. Eleven thirty. Now I can write this one on my Turfman sticker. That's what I put on this one, right? Or is it the other one? Yeah. See, I already got them mixed up. <laughs> All right, you got to make. That's why I put the sticker on it, though. That's why I don't do two of the same color. <laughs> now she tells us. <laughs> mm. Just the preference. Just the preference. <laughs> the cheat codes, y'all. Miss Craft keeping the cheat codes. <laughs> we're going to throw a flag on the play here in a minute. This is supposed to be a competition. You keeping the cheat nah, codes. Nah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm good there. We're done with this, huh? We are done with this. So now we know our potential alcohol amount once it's all said and done. Now, if you remember, I told you that the green packet would yield us about 14 to 16% alcohol. So this in the white, the way I have it right now, should proof all the way out and there should be no residual sugar left, which is what we want. And the red um, is 15%, so 15, 16, somewhere up in there. And again, I think I've said, what did I say, 14% on this one? So the again, the yeast, what? <laughs> be 15 percent proof all the way out again. Good stuff. Oh, look at this yeast is going to town now. Oh my goodness. Let me show you. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 
Yeah. Again, if you did want it to go more to a table type of wine, you can either add more juice or add a little bit of water to bring some, you know, dilute some of the sugar. If it wasn't sweet enough um, to hit the mark that you wanted, you'd add a little bit of sugar, a little bit at a time, dissolve it, measure, dissolve it, measure, dissolve it, measure. Okay? Yeah. Oh, it makes sense to everybody. <laughs> we got 11 over here and we got 1130. This will be interesting. Okay. Now, since we're at that part, I'm going to give some information out. <clears throat> Um, in order to be in our contest, it's going to be two part. Okay. Um, if you're making your wine with us, or even at a little bit of a later date, we need you to comment on this video saying my OG, hashtag my OG, and your original gravity number. Okay. And that'll kind of get you into the hopper so we know to keep an eye out for you. Once we actually get ready to do our final um read in order to stay in the con contest you're going to have to do hashtag my fg and then your number make sense okay this lets us know that you are serious about this and you're not just going to go out and buy a bottle of wine for us to taste <laughs> we want to taste your stuff okay <laughs> well, i don't know <laughs> you can't fool me <laughs> It's like, this is your first time out. You ain't that good. <laughs> okay, so now, now that we know that our yeast is alive, we've got our sugar, we've got our measurement, the next thing we do is what's called pitching our yeast. Basically, it really is. You're just going to pitch your yeast into your wine bag. So I'm going to do my red in here, swirl it around, make sure I get it all, and just... Pitch it in. <laughs> the reason why you want to pitch it in because you want to get all that yeast in there. Yep. And then the same. Wait. Cool. Pitch it in there. And now it's pitched. Okay, we're going to give it an easy stir. You don't have to go crazy on it, just kind of mix it in so it knows that it's in a new home. Come home now. Get to work. Go to work. Exactly. Earn your keep. <laughs> it's hard out here in these streets. Okay. And do I take the remainder of the other packet and go ahead and pitch that in? No. That's that's more wine that you can make. You can actually get about two two things of wine out of here. Packet is meant for five gallons. No, 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 I'm talking about my other bucket. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, do both. Did you, yeah, did you yeah. pitch it in the house? No, no, I'm no. sorry. So I put <laughs> half a packet, I put half a packet into the jar, activated it. Okay. It this okay, you needed to do it for your other one, too. <laughs> you need to activate this one, too? You can do that other half, yes. Can I use, this has sugar yes. in it. Yes. Use about a quarter. Yeah. And use your, um, your wine thief, put a little bit in the glass okay. and pitch your yeast. Okay. I just want you to get in the habit of doing that. Right. Like, cause we, yeah, well, technically well, we know, well, that, yeah, technically well, we know that yeast is good cause you pitched it in for the wine. But again, I want you to get in the habit of testing your yeast. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Wine break. <laughs> All right, so you know, yeah, you don't need much. You're just, yeah, you're just rehydrating your yeast. <clears throat> so, if you would have got the kit the way that we told you, you should have enough for one of these buckets. Yep. Um, I'm trying to increase my odds of winning this championship. <laughs> Excuse me, so I cooked up two blends. So you yeah. don't have to have two different blends. You never have too much wine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to um, real quick get back to the chat and see if I see anything. There we go. I'm going ahead and I'm going to swirl it. 
Um, FR asked the question, what are you reading? SG or present? We are reading both. Right. We're reading both. Um, what we're doing is um, recording the OG. I'm confused question. How much yeast per gallon of wine? Usually it's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. You can actually use the whole packet, but it's going to be a waste. Um, like I said, one of those packets there would be enough for a five gallon bucket of wine. Um, like I said, about half a packet is what you're going to want to use for about a gallon. And that's pretty much what we're doing here. So, yeah. Worked out. Yep. Let me slide. Um, and back to the other thing, yeah, we're using um, um, specific gravity and percent. Okay, so we got a question, distilled spring or tap water, all okay to use? Is there a preference? Now you get getting fancy. See, she's trying to get fancy. She's trying to get fancy. <laughs> okay. Um, diehards would tell you not to use tap water <laughs> because of what I said before about chlorine and yeast not getting along. Um, the way I feel about it is if you can make bread with your tap water, you can make wine with your tap water. If you have to go and bottle your stuff or you use something out of the filter filtration system, filter system, um, then yeah, I would use bottled or filtered water. Um, I wouldn't use spring because that's mineral water. That's gonna just add stuff that we don't need. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I would use either distilled water if you normally use distilled water or I would use tap water. That's just my opinion. <laughs> okay. I don't like complicating things, you know, if it works, it works, if it don't, it don't, you know. Yeah, just like, uh, what was it, Led, he dropped another tree today. What did he mm -hmm. do? He dug a hole, put it in the hole, put his chicken salad on it, and walked away. Exactly. But... I'm going to repeat what he said, though. He's been building that that period that he put that tree in, that kumquat, he's been dumping wood chips there over time. Yeah. So that was, yeah. That's why he was able to simply get that done. But like she said, if it works, it works. We're going to learn the uh, how to tweak the why. We're going to learn the why in order to tweak the why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I wish you guys could kind of see out of my window a little hummingbird just kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm concerned about them. They haven't been home in a very long time. Go ahead, Fly. Bye. <laughs> it may be time for the seasons to change. I mean, the weather's starting to do some weird things. They, they, they've gone to their fall. fall yeah. Week. Um, I, I think you should be okay now to go ahead and pitch your yeast. I think it's rehydrated enough. Okay. Yeah, because we know the yeast is live. Yeah. Put it in there. Nice. And then give it a nice stir. <clears throat> in fact, let me get these out of the way. Stir it in there. Make it happy, happy. Now, if you look in the one that you had already pitched the yeast into, you may actually start seeing some bubbles happening already. I see some tiny little bubbles is popping. Good, 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 good. All right, <clears throat> so next up is to put your lid on. Got my lids. Yeah, put your lid on nice and tight. <clears throat> Make sure it's nice and tight because if you don't what's going to happen is remember um, two of the byproducts of yeast is alcohol and carbon dioxide <clears throat> the carbon dioxide um, is lighter than air so we can find little nooks and crannies to you know seep out of which is why we want this to be really really tight because we want to use that carbon dioxide to our advantage we're going to use that to see if the wine is actually cooking and doing its thing yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now your lid is on. Now we're going to get our um, airlocks. <clears throat> and if you had them already sitting in your um, water, they actually will already be filled with sanitized water. In fact, I messed mine up. 
fine. Some people like to use vodka in theirs. Um, basically, all it's doing is making sure that if any liquid were to sink down in here when you push it in, uh -huh. um, it's clean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and you put a top on it. Like I said, some people use vodka in theirs. Does it mean it'd be completely full? No, up to your max line. Yes, yeah, so or a little out. And then stick it into the bucket. Up to the it's what? It's okay. Got bubbles in it from the sanitizer. That's fine. Up to which line? I said, um, if you notice, if you're using star sand, you'll get some bubbles, like soap bubbles in there. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Which line? Oh, the max line. Okay. Yeah, the max line. It's going to be in the max on both sides. I see it. I see it. I'll show y'all in a minute. Got to pour some more water out. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to give y'all a shot of this. It was hard for me to see it for a minute, but I imagine that's why you said you like these because they're easier to see. Yep. <laughs> Okay. okay. Cool. All right. My dear friend Robert, you are done. That's it? That's it. <laughs> put, do I need to put these caps on? Oh, you didn't hear me say put the cap on? I'm sorry. Yes. yes put the caps I, was, on. I was, I was, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's gonna help keep out dirt, debris, gnats, bugs, all that other weirdness. Flies. But allow the carbon dioxide to escape. So let's talk about, so we're done, but let's talk about where we should be keeping this in our home. Does that matter? Yes, it does. You wanna keep them in a relatively cool area, perfectly dark. I know a lot of people tend to like put them in their bathroom or in their closet. I mean, that kind of a situation. You don't want any place that's overly heated, um, especially now that we're starting to get some of these colder temperatures going in. We don't want to shock our yeast. Okay. So preferably dark. Yeah. Doesn't okay. that matter. A closet. A closet. Oh, yeah, I'm about to, it's about to end up in the hallway closet. That's where we're going. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and um, there are two schools of thought. There's one school that says you need to stir this every day. There's another school of thought that says, leave it alone. I'm from the leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> I don't like the idea of opening it up every day and risking the chance of contaminating it either. Like, there, you go. there you go. Now, that. most of the time when they do tell you to stir it every day, they're talking about fresh fruit type of thing because you want to keep that yeast hitting that fruit and they kind of separate. Yeah. But juice wines, let it do what it do when it do it, OK? Yeah. Um, Debra, I'm going to answer Deborah's question real quick. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, he already answered before. But um, yeah, two gallon. These are two. I think these are two and a half gallon buckets. Are these two gallons or two and a half? Two gallon. Okay, yeah. That's what size these buckets are. But um, yeah, that's the answer to the question. Okay. Now, within a day or two, you should start seeing these things bubble like mad. Um, if you want an example of that, if you go to my channel, I have a video that has Dexter's Laboratory as the, as the thumbnail. <laughs> and you will see what it looks like where it start cooking and bubbling. <laughs> there you go, guys. Okay. That's our, those lines, the max lines, mm -hmm. and we should start getting some bubbling action. Bubbling action. Now, <laughs> what we need to do, <clears throat> Within seven to 10 days, that bubbling action will slow down or stop altogether. And that just is an indication that, not necessarily that your yeast is done, um, but it's getting close to done. Okay. Or, <laughs> depends on the yeast. Um, because again, um, even though you have a way for the carbon dioxide to escape, it takes a while for it to get all the way off. Um, so we will um, revisit again within seven to 10 days and we're going to take another hydrometer reading and see what we're working with, see what our yeast is doing. <laughs> hey. But I told you, 
It's really, really easy. That was easy, guys. Um, the hardest part is trying to read the hydrometer. That's yep. about it. <laughs> and I have pretty good eyesight. So if I'm struggling, yeah, and you don't, then you're, you're just like, it just takes, once you know what you're looking for, you're in there though. Right, which is so why. You guys have never seen my little indoor greenhouse shop. That's what this is. Check this out. I want to show y'all this before we end. I will actually, the wife and I germinated some lavender. That's what that is. I successfully germinated lavender. Nice. Video on it. We got some mint cuttings out here. I know there's a few people that's waiting on these mint cuttings. That's my chocolate mint. Mint cuttings. Yep. I'll be making videos on that, showing you how I did this. Yep. Rosemint over here. We're going to be making some essential oils. I got all types of little projects going on in here. And then my <laughs> fall garden is getting prepped for the flop. I got starts already outside, succession plants ready to go in case we fail. Because that's yes. the secret of gardening. Never stop dropping seeds. Absolutely. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> the moment you think you get complacent, if you stop dropping seeds, you're going to walk outside, half of your crops going to be gone, and you, you're you not going to know what to do. But it's too late to start all over again. <laughs> right. You're going to have to start all over again, but you lost so much time where if you was always starting seeds, you know, you've been good. Seeds are cheap. Right. Yeah. Yes. Matter of fact, since you're showing off, I need to show something off too. Yeah, there you go. Let us, let us show something off, and then we're going to end this. A couple of yeah, a couple of episodes back, so I did um, a cooking show where I showed how to cook sweet potato. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You did the spinach, uh, the sweet potato. That looked good. It was really good. I promise you, please try it. Please, please, please. Uh, anyway, what I did was take awesome. some of those. Yeah, I took some of those slips that I caught, cut the leaves off of, dumped them in some water, and now I have some new leaves. Yeah, so nice. New leaves. Like, oh, and now that I don't have it, oh, you can see it right here in the camera. If you saw Led's video about how, this is the best way to keep gnats down, right here, and water from below. Right here, this thing stays on 24-7. Right here, right next to my seed starter yep. area. It stays right there. That's how you keep the insect population down. Yeah, and, and let me show you what my, mine look like <laughs> real quick. Little cheapy thing I got at Amazon. It plugs into the wall. It's the exact same thing. It's just a little bitty version. It plugs right oh, into the wall. There you go. Easy money. Well, that's it. Let me pop over. Let's give it, give it let the delay kick in. Make sure we don't have any last minute questions. All right. Thanks for sharing. Uh, thanks you for your thanks for popping in. Love and life, Houston. You're welcome. You're very welcome, Deborah White. Thank you, FR, for helping out with that question. Miss Wisdom. I appreciate you popping in. I appreciate everyone that's here right now and uh, watching it on the playback for sure. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, some of you guys will go ahead and get into the concerts con contest. Excuse yeah, me. get into this contest, man. Contest. And yeah. um, again, let me just repeat the rules. On this video, I need you to respond with hashtag my OG and your specific reading number, right? right. And then in the future video, if, if um, we see that you are active in the contest. We'll be looking for a hashtag my FG in your reading. And from the people who gives us both of those readings, we'll pick two people to do a wine tasting test with us. Huh? Yep, yep, yep. And we'll probably use the comment picker. Just yes. so say yeah, make it fair. Make it all fair. <laughs> We'll most likely use the comment picker, but you have to qualify in, in, in to the point where I'm even going to say that we want to see you comment OG on this one, but then when we do the final video, hopefully we'll be able to get over on Miss Crab's channel for the final video. Well, I want to see right, both. We had technical difficulties this time around. <laughs> yeah, shoot, we almost didn't make it. That's why we were late because <laughs> my whole account refreshed itself and I wasn't able to push the lock. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with that, but we may include both. We'll see. We'll, we'll make sure it's clear um, when we get there, when we get to that part of this journey. But that's it, guys. We're making wine. We making you are wine. making wine, Robert. And, um, <laughs> Thank you for being such an awesome student. <laughs> <laughs> and since you guys um, don't have, I mean, if you did it on this day, cool. You have the, you have the log of when we went live to know how long it's been. But if you didn't, 
go ahead and write your date on here, maybe on the top of the lid or keep a note or something right off to the side, just so you know what you're working with. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Be proud of what you do. You want to sign it and date it. That's right. Sign <laughs> and date it. And sign and date it. Even if it's nothing more than a little plant, you want to sign it and date it. <laughs> you grew it. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's see if we got any more questions. We're going to wait about a minute to make sure we don't have any last minute questions. And then if you do have a question and we're already gone and you're watching the replay, go over to Miss Craft because I can't answer them for you. I'm going to just let you know that right now. I'm learning right along with you. So go to yeah. Miss Craft's uh, channels, Miss Craft's small space and gardening, small space gardening and more. I misspelled it in the type. I missed the P. I just saw that right there. I'm going to fix that and I'll put the um, description. <laughs> In the description below, I will put the uh, link to her channel. Um, I'll go ahead and drop the shopping cart link as well for um, where we got all our supplies from. And then additionally, the last thing we'll do is I'll put the rules for the entry for the contest that we'll be doing. And yeah. then we should be good to go. What we got here? Loving life. I missed the beginning, but I'll watch the video after later. Want to know where to find y'all just use. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the juice we use, is that what you want to know where to find? Find everything. Oh yeah, we got a list. We got a list, Amazon list is super easy. And I'm going to put, I'm going to make this a playlist. So I'm gonna start a playlist tomorrow or this evening. You know how sometimes it takes YouTube a while to upload things. So I'll start a playlist. So it'll be really easy for you to just watch. I'll put my videos in there as well as Ms. Crafts of preparatory, two preparatory videos that she gave us in between here and uh, us getting to this point right here. And I will do the exact same thing on my channel. I will have, as, as a matter of fact, I do have a playlist called Wine and Fermented Drinks or something like that. It'll be in there. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right, well, that wraps up part two, guys. I don't see any questions coming in. Um, that leads me to believe that you guys are just gonna watch from the beginning or drop it in the comment section below when you're rewatching it. I appreciate y'all's time. Thanks for checking in with us. Yet again, Ms. Crab, you wanna take us out? Love y'all. Yeah, we out. Let's see. Nope, nope, that's not what I was trying to do. Um, you know how you have to have hold that pose at the end just in case.